Hi foodies, how are you doing? I just made some really yummy yellow rice. I used sasson this time and this is the one with the saffron in it. So we're going to get a nice color. Let's get into it. So this is some parboiled rice and I just rinsed it in a strainer under the water several times until the water runs clear. Okay. I have a pot here with some canola oil and some butter. This is over medium heat. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook some yellow bell peppers and some finely minced white onion. So we're just cooking it in the butter first because that's gonna release all those nice flavors. You know, when it comes to any form of fat, you get a lot of flavor once you saute those veggies, right? So the butter and the oil, and then we saute these. And then once they get fragrant and nice, then we're going to add the garlic, just some minced fresh garlic. Okay. And just keep cooking this for, you know, about a minute or so. We're not trying to brown them. You don't have to do that. We just want to make sure all those nice flavors are released instead of just throwing all of this into plain water. All right. So we'll give it a cook there. All right. And then add the garlic. So we're not trying to brown the garlic guys, okay? Just cook it in that butter and oil until it's fragrant. Then we're gonna be adding the sasson. Now one of the easiest ways to really get some good flavor into your food is by toasting the spices or the seasonings that you're using. So this is the sasson packet and this is the one with saffron in it. So we get that beautiful color. We're just going to toast this or just cook it along with the garlic and the onion and the pepper in that butter. And we're just going to cook this for about a minute. Okay. We don't need to go over a minute. Okay. And you'll see that beautiful bright orange color. Okay. But in the end, the rice will be yellow. Don't worry about it. Okay. So just keep stirring this. And this just helps to release a lot of flavors. Trust me. So I'm going to go in with some water. You could use vegetable broth or chicken broth, unsalted, of course, because I'm going to be adding a bouillon cube. So this is just a seasoning cube. Of course, you could add your seasoning that you like. If you don't have a bouillon cube, it could be chicken seasoning or all purpose seasoning. Just add it at this point. Then I'm going to add some freshly ground pepper and some unsalted butter. Okay. And then once this comes up to a boil, give it a taste. If it tastes fine, add your rice, stir that in well. Okay. Just make sure you taste that liquid before you add the rice. Sometimes the bouillon will be very salty, so you won't need to add any salt. All right. Once you stir in the rice thoroughly, then just cover the pot and over low to medium heat, cook this for about 20 minutes. All right. And then take the cover off, fluff up the rice with your fork, and then you can turn off the heat. You can even take the pot off the stove, but just fluff up the rice and then cover the pot with no heat underneath it. And just leave it with the cover on for about five to seven minutes. The steam will complete the cooking and all the extra moisture will be evaporated. And here we go. Really beautiful and nice and brilliant. I just put some uh, parsley on top. Of course, that's optional. This is such a simple dish, but the flavor, oh my goodness, amazing. Now, I have suggested some substitutes for sasson if you can't find it. But the good thing about this seasoning is that it has a lot of flavor because it has the turmeric, the saffron, it has cumin, it has garlic. So it's not just about the color. You're getting lots of flavor. But of course, some people might not want to use sasson. So I do have a, a natto oil video on the channel. And I also suggest that you could use turmeric or you could use anato powder. So give it a try and just let me know what you think. I'll see you guys next time.